Hello, Internets. This is Bone Carlos coming to you live from District 10 to bring you another StarCraft 2 cast. This one is going to be a, a 4v4 sent in by Line of Heaven. So let's just go ahead and get through those introductions. We got Line of Heaven spawning as the Light Pink Protoss. And whenever I have a choice, Light Pink, Line of Heaven, you and I, great minds, think alike. Over here we have a uh, Turt Leaf? Turt Spawning as the yellow Protoss. Orange Protoss is going to be Sargus. And running out the Protoss Emba team is going to be uh, Jocko. We're just going to go ahead and call him Jocko. And he spawned in the green color. Their opponent is going to be Pikanu. Spawning as a red Terran. And one, two, three Zergs. They're going to be Tuk what the Tukanpo. Vader. And Mr. Volchov. Molchkov. Uh, and it looks like there's gonna be a, a yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a cannon off by line of heaven just for safety it looks like and that's gonna be a okay so this is 4v4 most than likely whenever I play 4v4 um, it, there's always gonna be one that's gonna be six nine seven pool just trying to disrupt something or possibly they all do it who knows um, and speaking of playing I am a bit of a sad panda just because of the fact that I have neglected my Starcraft 2 playing and I am now officially low platinum, high gold. Anytime I, um, anytime I start getting into the higher, going up against higher platinum players, I get raffle stomped, and they, and then finally, when the matchup comes up, I see a slightly uh, or a teams even indicator, and I end up beating them. But they ended up being gold league players, so uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. So yeah, it, it's just. Um, I'm kind of a sad panda. I mean, really, I am. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the time to divulge into playing this a little bit more and into just upgrading my skills. And really, that's just sad for me. And it looks like lings are going to go on the way. There was looks like it was a bit of a six pool going on or a bit of a nine pool, actually. So everyone is freaking out, but no problem, no problem. Since there are four protoss, you can just uh, wall off quite easily. This is just like overdoing it right here with this photon cannon here. Um, just a simple wall off and then uh, a single cannon will hold off against six lanes. I'm looking around the map seeing if there's any other entrances and there is, yeah. Uh, but uh, Jayco is doing the normal thing but he's going to go wall off there. Uh, these destructible rocks are going to be safe. So uh, everything is A-OK -okay at the moment. It looks like Line of Heaven is going to go ahead and uh, fast expand or F as the French like to say. Well, nothing else too crazy is happening. Uh, and it looks like, oh, look at that. To Campo is deciding to break down these destructible rocks, and uh, Turtil is going to go ahead and do the simple thing by putting down a ton of uh, photon cannons. And this, this is a ton of photon cannons. Each photon cannon weighs half a ton, so two photon cannons equals a ton. I am correct. Uh, more lings over here in this side of the map, and it looks like this one is actually going to be a little bit of a problem right over here. Uh, emergency uh, workers are going to go ahead and continue off and finish off the wall off, and it looks like the wall off is secure, but this Pokemon Cannon is going to go down. Uh, this is just uh, completely surrounded at the moment. It's not going to. It might get off a couple of shots, but nothing too crazy is going to happen. It looks like uh, Jaco and Line of Heaven is going to. They're going to need to micro their macro, a point termed by the guys over at Lag TV. The wall off is still continuing. I would actually like to see these guys just focus on this force, canceling everything. Since there is a marine there uh, to finally nibble away at a distance, the Zerglings are all over the place. The Protoss players are forced to go. Holy crap, let's tighten up and see what we can do. But this is just a lot of Zerglings in the base. GG, we lose. A line of Heaven already, Line of Heaven. It's not even six minutes yet, and you're going to say you lose? I mean, uh, Vlad Jacob lost all his abilities, sure. But he's fairly safe, uh, safely cannoned up at his... Uh, main base while uh, Sargus is gonna go ahead and plant buildings anywhere because there's no need for defense that's a hell of a wall off you're gonna try to do buddy uh, uh, Jake would just hang out no worries as I open up the menu screen awesome Sargus is he does need to just uh, bolt and split line of heaven and I did finally put a um, put their uh, their neck side up but eh, it's not really gonna be too helpful up against a bunch of zerglings so it uh, looks like the, the force is being repelled quite a bit but the main base of uh, Sargus is down shit green what the fuck didn't you wall I did but cannon too late Bo, you didn't so the power of the zerglings comes through uh, unfortunately if 
they haven't even put down I mean they're just barely grabbing the uh, natural expansion nothing else besides zergling tech for all the play all the zerging players so if they manage to hold this off uh, it's gonna be fairly even in my opinion I mean right now they could just uh, start the Protoss players could just start massing up uh, Zealot and uh, Sargus decides to leave the game. Is anybody? Did they all leave so far? Uh, looks like Sargus left. It looks like maybe Vlad has left as well. Um, not sure what players are left. Mercer Volchov isn't building anything. Uh, the Keno isn't building anything. And right now it looks like Sargus is just. Uh, it, yeah, it looks like he is still in the game. He does have a bunch of probes. Uh, with one one minerals of uh, Vlad Jaco no longer has any forces, so he is booted. So right now it is a two v four kind of situation. Uh, nothing else too crazy in the production tab. Uh, Line of Heaven doesn't have anything. Sargus uh, barely putting down his first cyber negative score, while Churchill has a decent uh, amount of uh, units. He is getting a Twilight Council. He's getting up his Warp Gate tech. And right now, there isn't much else on the field, so I would say this is pretty much about even. The Terran player for uh, for the opposing forces really doesn't have anything up besides Tier 1 tech. Uh, and the same can be said about all uh, Zerg players. I mean, finally, the purple Zerg is finally turning his hatchery into Lair. He does have a Roach worn up, but still nothing else. I mean, there are no hatcheries. He does have one at about three quarter over here, but that's going to be a long time coming. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a mass attack with probes and zealots. A little bit of micro pine cone. You will be able to save all your units. Uh, looks like Vlad Jakao has finally left the game, so it is a 2, and Tertil has left the game as well, so it is now a 1v4 kind of situation, and in this kind of situation, I would say, uh, hell yes, I mean, there are plenty of warp gates hanging around the map, uh, you, you do have three mining bases for yourself, uh, a single force to upgrade your units, so everything is a-okay hunky-dory for, uh, looks like, yeah, Line of Heaven to see the pink outline as they select the units, and this is a nice uh, bunch of units, I mean, this could actually do uh, a ton of damage, not sure what the income is at, but right now the income tab shows uh, Line of Heaven and uh, both the bases are, I would say they're falling behind, but uh, if they, a couple of warp cycles, everything will be fine, right now the units of uh, Line of Heaven are pushing out, uh, Heinko is going to go ahead and try to intercept them, but there is not going to be much this Marauder can do, especially if it's on a uh, move command. A single proxy pylon is going to be put down for those warp ends. This little squad isn't going to do much. This hatchery is going to go down fairly quickly. It just... It's just up to Line of Heaven and where they decide to attack. It looks like the hatchery is going to go down fairly quickly with this force. This is a huge force of units at the moment. And as soon as this uh, pylon gets down, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be a nice warping of units right over here. Uh, all these drones are just going to uh, say bye-bye, adios. I'm going to go ahead and go home and scatter somewhere else. It looks like Pi Keno does have a command center right over here, but not going to decide to do anything with it just yet. No warpins have occurred for Line of Heaven, but you know what? Stalkers, stalkers and Zealots are going to be enough for him. And uh, ooh, looks like the Stalkers do finally have Blink Research. going to be able to save as many units as possible. And if you guys have been uh, following my series of... Uh, of StarCraft 2 commentaries, Line of Heaven does do some very awesome blank micro. Uh, it goes, uh, it's a fairly old uh, cast. It's Line of Heaven versus another Zerg player on Zell Naga Caverns. And yeah, it was very interesting to say the least. Uh, Line of Heaven is pulling back the Stalkers. Not sure exactly why. It, they, uh, they pretty much sacked the, all of these uh, Zealots for no reason really whatsoever. The Stalkers are still alive. and going to go ahead and attack the Medivac because that's what you want to do. Take out those Medivac support for the Terran forces. Uh, they blink away just in time to save and uh, say hello to those Marines. While a fresh uh, batch of Zealots are going to warp in at this uh, Cylon. And what is Pike? Kind of doing really man that is I've seen some bad players including myself I'm not I mean I, I could say I'm not that bad but I'm pretty close it looks like line of heaven is gonna go ahead and attack the uh, the next expansion by Volchanov but a little bit of a decision really by line of heaven I mean if you were just stuck it right down the gullet of uh, these players, you might have done a massive amount of damage, but Hydras are up, and Hydras do tear through uh, Tier 1 Protoss units quite easily. I expect a blink to happen any second now to save your units, but nah, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and aim move, attack, and waltz to victory. Ah, uh, there is a siege tank there to just pummel the Protoss units from a distance. The proxy pylon has been put down. <laughs> A proxy barracks is just hanging around in the middle of the map while line of heaven is going to go ahead and cannon up uh, and expand yet again uh, immortals are going to be churned out when uh, Oscar Robotics Bay is being built, so gonna see Colossus Tech gonna come out, gonna come out any second. Now, Line of Heaven does have one, two, three, still only three bases, putting up a fourth. That one is almost done, and they have about three thousand minerals. So that is a bunch of minerals saved up. Uh, warp cycles galore, but at the same time, it looks like the opposing players of Vader and Pineco are finally pulling up their expansions as well at the far edges of the map. Another little skirmish is gonna go happen. The Starkable Rocks are being taken down. A Line of Heaven sees that spots this barrack all by its lonesome and decides to take it out why not get a free kill while you're at it a couple of zerglings just hanging out not doing much enjoying the shrubbery of the bushes and the trees finally the forces of the opposing players decide to get together and uh, push forward and all of a sudden this force doesn't seem that big anymore a couple of mortals are on the field of play still no colossus tech is gonna have to go ahead and take out those uh, oh man they don't do nothing They're just hanging out checking out the shrubbery and uh, uh, it looks like a battle is going to commence. The Zealots do finally get into the opposing force. A little bit of micro chess tries to happen. Finally, the Siege Tank siege up, but not before they get taken out in a couple of volleys. A single couple of pair of Zealots are just hanging out, enjoying the carnage. The Immortals finally are on the field to play, but all the Stalkers are going to fall. It's going to take a couple of blinks to be able to save them, but no. It looks like Line of Heaven just decides to sack them along with these Immortals. One goes down, a second goes down as well, and a couple, another fresh, uh, wow, massive amounts of Warp Gate tech leads to a lot of zealous and if these zealous could actually get here in time and save these phone talk cannons it might be able to hold off one phone talk cannon does go down the zealots are finally in to the roaches and the marines the two photon cannons are in the back doing a massive amounts of damage i mean one already has five kills one has another and these zealots are just tearing through the forces of the enemy and finally all the terran forces are done but these few oh charge is done right on time Snaps to the enemy very, very quickly, very, very easily, and tears through those Hydralis. A single Colossus on the field, two more being produced, and as it looks like it's going to be Zealots and Colossi. Uh, going to be the bulk of Light of Heaven's army. There is nothing else really on the field of play. I don't see anything... Uh, too crazy. No research is uh, research isn't being committed on those upgrades. Uh, we see there are those two robotics uh, facilities and robotics bays, and uh, looks like a colossal uh, the attack preemptive attack is really going to be forced. Uh, but was forced by line of heaven, but not much damage is going to be done. The forces of Mr. Volkov are on the field. These colossi need to retreat. We do not want to lose any colossi. Colossi is down. This colossi is going to go down again as well. And it looks like this is going to be game over for Line of Heaven. I mean, I don't see them holding off in any shape or form. I mean, yes, you got, well, actually, <laughs> the way these guys are playing, they're just going to go ahead and A move. Going to get choked off here at the main wall. The, the cannons and the Colossi do the main damage, and the Zealots hold them in place. The <laughs> Line of Heaven is forced to pull back since, yeah, that's just like, too many roaches to be able to hit uh, to handle at the moment. Another charge forward does manage to stop the roaches from climbing up of the ramp. And more warpings are happening on the high ground. Zealots are being uh, warped in quickly and effectively, trying to block off any further movement by the roaches. Uh, three colossi on the field. A bunch of photon cannons. It looks like one might go down. Two uh, is going to follow shortly, but that is just a lot of damage the colossi are doing. Finally, a fourth one does join the fray. No more zealot warpings uh, are necessary because... Wow, a massive amount of damage, 4 kills here, 5 kills here, 7 kills here, 8 kills here, more uh, gateways are on the field of play, being transformed into warp gates immediately, a dark shrine is on the field, and this little colossi did a little jig to cut up a rug, because they are excited, dark templar are on the way, so... Uh, no detection just yet that I have noticed for any of the Zerg players. I mean, uh, Terran can scan, but there are only two orbital commands. So uh, once uh, it's going to need a lot more than that to be able to fend off any kind of DT harass. I mean, a single DT could just take out this entire base. I'll bet very slowly, but they will be able to do that. Uh, so Line of Heaven does have a st <laughs> no stalkers actually. Just Zealot Colossi going to go ahead and push forward yet again. No DT yet on the field of play. 
Uh, nope, no DT yet. Looks like a more uh, zealots are being warped in. The Colossi do spot, does spot that Vader tried to take that gold expansion, but decides not to. Decides to try to take it out. Pummeling from a distance, are those siege tanks managed to take down a single Colossi? And a full-on retreat is forced by those siege tanks. And it looks like. Live on Heaven is going to go ahead and pr start producing those uh, Dark Temple. I'm not sure if they're going to morph them in straight away into Archons or going to do a little bit of harassment, uh, sneak in with those uh, ah, Dark Templar from the back. It looks like that's exactly what they're going to push forward. is going to go happen. Splash damage does manage to hit a couple of Dark Templar, but once they get into those siege tanks, they crumble like tissue paper. Zealots make short work of those Terran forces. Finally. Uh, reach those uh, Zerg forces and line of heaven sweeps up fairly easily and these uh, marines have no chance up against this H uh, high temple or dark temple I should say Zella army with Colossus back up they just churn through that very easily psionic storm is being researched so hopefully we get to see, see, see some high templar action three more Colossus are coming in for the kill and it looks like high templar might take it i do not see any other units on the field to play i mean there are 14 roaches scattered around here and there 14 corruptors are going to come uh are going to uh pop very soon and going to take on these corruptors very very easily since there isn't anything uh from line of heaven's army that can shoot up except these couple of pylons are being placed in proxy pylons but why not a bunch of gas going uh for line of heaven so maybe some high templar maybe more for some of these uh dark templar in <laughs> into Archons to take care of these Corruptors, but no, the Colossus are done. It looks like the, uh, the Terran base is going to be routed very, very easily. Stalkers are hanging around the map, trying to pick up any kind of medevacs. More Zealots being morphed in to do damage here and there. These Corruptors are pretty much useless now that the Colossus are gone. Lion of Heaven is going to scatter around the map and try to take down anything that moves while, while still trying to take down everything that uh, Pykeno has. So pure stalkers or pure zealots are being morphed in, warped in yet again, and it looks like uh, no army available for uh, the opposing players. This looks like this hatchery is going to go down fairly quickly. I don't think there's a greater spire on the field of play to be able to morph those corruptors into broodlords. So mutalists are being produced, but I, I'm assuming, I hope that as soon as uh, Line of Heaven spots those mutalists, that uh, starts morphing those the Dark Templar into Archons. Archons versus Mutalists. Ooh, favor to the Archons. Archons are being morphed in. I wonder if I could find these little suckers. There you are. Three Archons are being morphed in finally to take down any kind of flying uh, buildings that Pekeno has put up into the air. Zealous uh, take down are going to take down another base of Pekeno while another force over here in the north finally takes down that expansion. Uh, <laughs> From those Zerg players to, uh, to Kampu isn't doing much. Mr. Volokov is going to go down very quickly. Finally, those Wulists are on the field. Managed to take down those Stalkers. I'd like to see Blank being researched yet again. Um, even though Re Blink <laughs> was already used by those, uh, by those Stalkers. I'm not sure how you can research it again. Let's see. Where are those Stalkers being morphed? And let's see if I can find them. Stalkers right here. They, ah, it looks like they don't have blink. Interesting. LOL. Vader is laughing since he's... I smell a route. Toss Imba. Line of Heaven. Do not spread that stereotypical propaganda from the Zerg players. I don't want to hear it because I get raffle stumped by Zerg players all the time. So anyways, uh, Line of Heaven is going to go ahead and push forward. Finally took down most of the bases in, uh, let's see, nah, north, uh, west side of the map. All that's left is a stronghold over here on the east side. But a couple of zealots, a couple of Dark, Tem Dark Templar uh, took down a lot of uh, drones. And right now it looks like it's fairly even uh, just because of the fact Line of Heaven has said not to attack white yet morphing those um, high templars straight away into archons and an archon zealot army force is sprinkled in with a few dts uh, just for spice is going to make mincemeat out of these mutalisks if they decide to engage well single stalker does brave little stalker and this one as well line of, of the line of heaven doesn't want those mutalisks to get away and decides to pursue them with those blink stalkers with their main force uh while trying, sending a single zealot over here to send take out this hatchery and uh right now line of heaven is doing a good job just to keep um the opposing forces off balance they've taken another um Another base, a couple of warp, uh, a couple of gateways not yet morphed into warp gates, uh, and a nice saturation all over the place. A toss in, but yet again, thumbing the nose in your opponent's face by saying, 
by saying holy shit, toss in the tosses, and then but this guy isn't pro. It just so happens what happens when uh, you're not that good and your, your opposing player is actually that much better. So it looks like the game is going to go ahead and wrap up. Most of the opponents aren't going to leave. And uh, congratulations to Lion Heaven for pulling out a 1v4 with the Imba. Uh, Protoss forces. And imagine what would happen, Zerg players, if you played... Uh, Play a little bit normal instead of uh, going three uh, nine uh, nine pools. Eh, might have gone a little bit different. Imagine if you would have expanded a lot more. Eh, might have been a little bit different. Uh, Seeing Colossus just hanging out, doing that thing, being all Colossi like. Never appreciated the beauty of the Colossi. Anyways, GG Vader has left the game, and that's it for this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If not, leave a comment down below on what I could do to make these more enjoyable for you. Otherwise, I'm going to get on out of here and just, uh, you know, drink my own tears of how bad I am in StarCraft 2. Later, guys.